Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chad Hooten with Hooten's Arkansas Football. Cannot believe we're ready for the ninth Friday night of high school football. And of course, that means at Arkansas Children's Hospital here that they will be ready for their uh, sports injury clinic tomorrow night from 10 to midnight. You know, why would you want to wait until Saturday or Monday if you're injured on a Friday night? You want to see a doctor or a specialist that night at Arkansas Children's Hospital. You can do that from 10 to midnight. Walk-ins are welcome. They do recommend that you check in, go to Arkansas Children's uh, website and backslash uh, sports injury, but uh, they're ready tomorrow night and every Friday night from 10 to midnight with the Friday Night Sports Injury Clinic at Arkansas Children's Hospital. I'm joined today by Katie Rhodes Smith. Yes, <laughs> and uh, Katie's brother was a part of some great Pulaski Academy football teams back in the day. We've been catching up and getting to know each other. And 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 if you're want if you got a a, a little brother playing football or your son playing football or any uh, daughter playing athletics and you want them to perform at their very best of course uh, diet is a very key part to that and uh, Katie is a certified specialist in sports dietetics a dietitian here at Arkansas Children's and eating a balanced diet is so important for everyone right Katie but yeah. particularly why is it important for a young athlete well just for young people in general, your muscles are growing, your you know organs are developing, everything like that. But as an athlete, you want to prevent injury and you want yeah. to make sure that you're fueling yourself for recovery, but also for, for performance, but for health reasons above all. Yeah, no doubt. And kids don't think about it as much as no. the parents and moms <laughs> and dads. So it's good for, you, for the parents to be on top of that. Yeah. In addition to what they eat, and maybe you should talk about that a little bit, but also how important is it how much they eat and how often? You know, there's a lot yeah. of talk about multiple meals a day if you're a high school athlete. Yeah. Yeah, so as far as meals go, any growing kid, first of all, but especially athletes, three main meals a day, very important. And then having two to three snacks in between meals to keep your blood glucose um, level, to keep you from being really hungry at meals, and for, um, you know, obviously performance, if, especially if you're practicing most days. And, and guys who are lifting. Oh, and, yeah. Or, or, and just long practices and gymnastics or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. It takes extra, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. What type of foods are helpful to eat, say, before a game or after a practice, you know, recovery and pre practice pre-game? Yeah, so pre-workout, I would like like a main meal to be like two to four hours before yeah. because you don't want anything heavy because you don't want to get sick, you don't want to have anything slowing you down. Um, what's key for pre-workout is having some um, fast absorbing carbohydrates, but also a little bit of protein or fat to slow it down a little bit so you don't have that huge spike. So what's that look like? That's like a banana, 16 ounces of Gatorade, um, a honey stinger waffle, things like that that are just um, fast that absorbing. That sounds pretty good. Now, a big pile of spaghetti. That's okay the day before. Yes. Right? But not, I still, I still see some of these football moms. We're going to feed them pasta and bread, okay. and they're going to play football two hours later. And I'm like, yeah. no, I don't think that's what, I think that day before, 24 hours before, you do a little loading, yes. that's okay, but not, the, not two hours before they play the game. Absolutely. You can always have a, a small portion of leftovers as that may, main meal two to four hours before, but um, definitely the night before, don't eat anything that your body's not used to. So if a kid doesn't have a lot of pasta in their diet anyways, you know, that's probably not a good idea too. Okay, in football, every guy wants to be Hercules, you know, yeah. they're, they're wanting to lift and, and some of them try all kinds of things. Let's talk about protein shakes, enhancements. Um, things like that that are good and maybe some things uh, to avoid energy drinks yeah well protein drinks first of all there's a lot of good ones out there so having um, them as snacks or even as recovery drinks I think that's great um, ones that are promising so much that it doesn't seem realistic is probably <laughs> not realistic too good to be true yes so just be aware of you know the truth in advertising things like that um, as far as energy drinks you know there's not it, I don't think that there's any place for them for adolescents. No. You are young, you have enough energy. Um, there's research for adults and like long endurance athletes for caffeine, but definitely not for kids. All right, moderation in any of those things. Um, you just follow the recommendations on the, the good sports drinks or the good uh, uh, shakes. 
Yeah, as far as protein shakes, anything above like 40 grams on the nutrition label, um, your body will Can't, not absorb it as efficiently. Just wasting it. Away. Exactly. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. so 32, somewhere in that's yeah. depending on uh, plenty, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So don't um, try to load up thinking it'll do more. Um, and sports drinks during your workouts, so those are great too, like you know, Gatorade, Powerade, gives you the electrolytes, but also the carbohydrates. They're great for kind of after the workout, whereas this good old H2O Agua is good leading up to the workout or the run or whatever it is. Yeah. Is well, that right? Well, um, what I recommend is if you're going into a game, yeah. um, I would definitely have some either salt your foods or have some type of electrolyte like Gatorade before as your simple carbohydrate plus electrolytes to kind of front load your electrolytes as they're depleted during your game. Yeah, and then during the game and certainly after the mm -hmm. game. Gotcha, okay. What else? Uh, you, what, I mean, you work out and your brother was a football player and stuff. What, what, what were y'all's go to and what, what is it now? How has it changed for you? Um, Put you on the spot. No, that's okay. <laughs> I remember growing up and, you know, my mom packing three big sandwiches and telling him he had to eat them and calorie dense foods. I think for, you know, growing kids, having calorie dense foods like avocados, nuts, nut butters, um, things like that, that are also healthy for brain development, yeah. but also give you more calories to sustain activity and to prepare you for activity so you're not depleted. So calorie dense foods that are healthy, I think is pretty big and um, kind of has carried over more importance lately. So you were eating three peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Not me. <laughs> no. no, my brother. I got you. Oh, my goodness. No, I was a little <laughs> jealous, but he still to this day eats like a bird. So um, a lot of boys and uh, girls, too, they're just not as hungry after games or long workouts. And so having small meals ready and even protein shakes or calorie-dense shakes or smoothies, you know, the day at, or after the game, the day after when they're appetite isn't as yeah. um, large um, and it may be a few days later but having sure. those on hand yeah so you go in these field houses now and all the coaches have the peanut butter jelly and just stacks of loaves of bread yeah. in there for those guys <laughs> yeah. just trying everything they can to, to entice yeah them. exactly so um, what three what top three foods do you think should be in everybody every athlete's uh, fridge or pantry <sighs> You if said I, the, the, the nuts and yeah. avocados. And. So three things, I think, just for growing kids, but also athletes. Like I said, um, the unsaturated fats, avocados, nuts, nut butters for um, more calories, but also for brain development. And you need a mental edge during sports anyways. Um, also lean protein like chicken, um, turkey. Um, try not to focus on the high saturated fat protein when you're looking at protein. And then lastly, a variety, a rainbow of non-starchy vegetables. You know, we can take a multivitamin and absorb so much, but we absorb 100% of what we consume in non-starchy veggies. Yeah. So. That's good advice. Sounds like healthy eating. You know, speaking of health, we're at the end of October. It really doesn't feel like it hardly. You've got, got some rain and stuff coming, but it's going to cool off. And I started thinking about the flu. You know, flu season, and it's a big deal this year. Yeah. And really need to get your flu shot. Don't forget about that. Why Why is that important for families and to, to remember to do that? Well, absolutely. That It's recommended, you know, for everybody that works here at Children's Hospital at most schools right now. And it's just preventative, yeah. you know, um, helping, taking care of not only yourself, but those around you. By eating and uh -huh. sleeping right. Absolutely. During, as it gets colder, number one, don't forget to drink water. A lot of people, because they're not as hot, they don't drink as much, but hydration to stay healthy is important. Yeah. Also, um, vitamin C through like a supplement or a glass of OJ or um, fruits that are high in vitamin C daily. That'll help boost the immune system. Absolutely. Ward off that flu. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good advice. Good. Katie Rhodes Smith, she's a dietitian at Arkansas Children's and certified specialist in sports dietetics, if you can't tell. Great information, a bunch of, you know, there's 6,000 boys playing football. I don't know how many are cheering and playing, girls playing basketball and boys yeah. playing basketball, but it's a state that's sports crazy, three million people, and you just think about uh, all the kids that are out there and need to know Absolutely. what to be eating and 
drinking and what to stay away from. So thanks for your information. Yeah, and parents are the advocates for their kids. So about it. Yeah. They're, they're thinking about it more than the kids Absolutely. Are. And the, good sleep, as you yes. mentioned, too. Good eating and sleeping habits. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Katie. Thank you. And uh, don't forget about the Arkansas Children's Hospital Sports Injury Clinic. If a young athlete gets injured on a Friday night, you can come here on um, Fridays from 10 to midnight at Arkansas Children's Hospital. The Friday Night Sports Injury Clinic is available. They do recommend you, like I mentioned a moment ago, check in maybe online at the Arkansas Children's website. But otherwise, bring your uh, young athlete here. Don't wait till the weekend or Monday to get them checked out. Arkansas Children's Hospital, what a great service. And where else would you take a teenage child to get looked at for a sports injury than Arkansas Children's Hospital, right? Agreed. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm. Have a good day.